And more importantly, what I want to show you guys is that now the very first part, which is the business plan, the business direction uh, is way much more improved. And I worked a lot in each individual point. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome once again to the channel. As usual, it's always great to have you back. And yes, I know guys, I haven't been uploading recently. Actually, I think that my last video was mostly like one and a half months ago. So I want to apologize for that. Truth be told was that December was a very hectic uh, month for uh, holiday seasons. I got sick and of course I wanted to make my, let's say, special retreat. And for January, guys, well, I don't have any excuse. Well, actually, I do have one specific issue. I wanted to make my 2022 annual review. Each year I try to see if I comply with my objectives or goals or if I realize my dreams and all that. And more importantly, work towards 2023. And that's why I haven't uploaded any other video guys because I have been working a lot in my 2022 review, but more importantly on my 2023 goals and objectives. And this is exactly what I want to share with you guys. So we are here and I really wanted to add a special name, the Start 2023 Strong. And more importantly, what I want to show you guys is that now the very first part, which is the business plan, the business direction uh, is way much more improved. And I worked a lot in each individual point. So for instance, expand student base and recurring revenue, personal branding versus academy brand, competition, strategic allies, improving working materials, office space, and other type of investments that will improve my overall performance for you guys. Video inspiration or trying to copy or steal other similar content with similar content creators, such as engineers and so on. Overall restructure of products, which is essentially trying to improve the way that I present you the courses. I want you to have a better experience overall that you are enjoying and that you are learning, that you don't feel that you're losing time or so. I'm also talking about marketing, pricing discounts, promo strategies, uh, master classes that are going to be this new piece of the puzzle that hopefully is going to bring more traffic to YouTube channels and so on. Then I have the second part of marketing, which is order bombs, upsells. This is much more towards actual selling products, adding value to the original, uh, let's say a single purchase or so. So essentially the question is, how can I improve the value of your checkout page experience? Then the focus of the monthly subscription versus the single purchase lifetime access. Then also we're going to be talking about inorganic growth. Once again, ads, how I am going to be paying for ads. I really want to explore this. Organic growth has been always my main way of growing, selling and reaching to you guys. But I know that I need to spend some money on marketing, on ads to get to other type of persons out there. And of course, the semester check, I'm going to be realistic. I don't want trimester checks. I want a single check half a year to see how I am going. And finally, as stated before, previously I didn't add any kind of financial data, but right now I really need to know the actual income, the actual revenues, debt, leverages, uh, liabilities of my business and try to separate my persona or let's say my, well, yeah, my freelancer, which is myself, from my business, which should be some like a business entity or let's say a financial entity, separate them for sure. Then we continue with course creation, which is steady before the main core fundamental of my business. Without courses, this project doesn't make sense. The main idea of the project is to help other people or students or fellow engineers to boost their knowledge on learning on engineering, process engineering properly. And yeah, I want to show you the courses will be oil and gas courses. I'm talking about natural gas, gas liquefaction, maybe exploration, production, drilling. Uh, also, uh, the production part of refinery will be included, uh, maybe doing some splits or mini courses as well. I want to work a lot with reactor engineering, guys. I know that there's a lot of people asking me always on my videos on reactor engineering series that the website doesn't work, that you want to practice some problems and that you want to continue your learning, well, I need to work towards that. Aspen Tech, I will try to work towards HiSys. Now that I have access to my lab on the university, I will be able to work with a bootcamp maybe, or maybe a course specifically for oil and gas 
engineers. I want to improve my courses on mass transfer. So there's a binary course, a batch course, a continuous distillation courses that should be improved for sure. Not only that, process simulation of such applications. If you're a much more advanced engineer, maybe master degree or an actual process engineer working with distillation. And I want to explore these, let's say random topics. First thing first, BP Energy Report for 2023. This is a report which is going to be very nice because it's going to be including the effects on the supply chain of energy changed by the russian ukrainian war. Not only that, I want to maybe explore transfer phenomena with real life examples, not that much in the theoretical part of being able to model or so. I also want to make a cooking course for engineers trying to understand conduction, convection, radiation, temperature changes, cooking, proteins, water, roiling, everything that has with chemical engineering. I'm pretty sure that you can make sense in cooking. And some other courses such as wastewater treatment, current trends, bioenergy, uh, alternative energy, semiconductors, batteries, and all of that. Then we have the restructuring of the courses. As I said before, I want to improve your experience, but not only that, guys. I have added the concept of mini courses, master classes, webinars, and so on. Course standardization is for sure something that needs to be addressed. You want to have the same experience on my older courses than my newer courses. You don't want to have this separate evolution of improvement of video edition, also being able to make the difference between the older and newer microphone or so. You want to have the most standardized version of my courses. Talking about the website, I really want to work more towards that. I really love the landing page, homepage, but once that you scroll down, I don't like the way that I'm presenting you my courses or the topics that we are doing, or essentially, I want to offer you a visual approach towards my project. How can I make my project sexy to you guys? I'm going to be working with optimization, with my blog strategy. I know that some of the traffic that I get is via my blog. I have like four or five blogs, which are great, that they bring a lot of traffic. And if I could improve those blog posts or add more blog posts that increase the traffic to my website, that will be great. And for this, I don't want to be the guy that's always asking for something, selling you that thing or that promotion. I want to add a little bit more value via email. And for sure, I'm going to be working with that. At least will be one email per month, which has a lot of value. On ebook and content, I said before, last year was total zero. But right now, I really want to work more towards ebook or more towards the downloadable content, which is for sure something that you guys have been asking me a lot. You want to have ebooks on certain topics, on certain process engineering rules or so, and I will be working towards that, make no worries. And you will be able to get them for free. And of course, if you want to have something extra, you will be able to purchase that as well. Then let's talk about YouTube. YouTube is one of the best ways for search engines for my project, because guys, let's be honest, someone wants to learn chemical engineering, you go to YouTube, to lectures, to webinars, to anything that makes sense of what you're trying to learn. And the strategy is mainly working as before with videos that are more towards the entertainment part, not that much to actual lectures. For this, I want to separate this into two main sections, long videos or let's say normal videos and shorts. YouTube shorts are going to be actually just those type of videos that are very short that will add value to you guys. But really, I think that the relationship between two persons is way better in a three, five, 10 minutes long video. So I will be working towards uh, videos that are between 8 to 15 minutes overall. And of course, a lot of interesting topics. This is the core, the way in which a lot of chemical engineers will go and maybe they're asking a question on what is entropy or how is AI going to be affecting chemical engineering jobs or so. Whatever topic that you have in mind, I want you to be able to have a reach into my channel with that specific topic. After YouTube, Instagram and TikTok come next. And I wanted to treat these two apps as their own. I didn't want to add those in social media because although I know that these are social media, they are apps of their own and they are exploding. And of course, I need to take advantage of that, especially to attract younger talent. A lot of students, a lot of recent graduates that may use TikTok or Instagram Reels. And truly guys, I know that I can add a lot of value via short videos, so definitely something worth exploring and maybe even betting my content towards that. So yes, TikTok, Instagram Reels, shorts are going to be here in 2023. 
And finally, guys, the social media part, which is essentially Facebook, Reddit, and LinkedIn. These have separate strategies by their own. But what I want to say is that I want to explore Facebook content with this new type of format, the so-called Instagram Reels or Facebook Reels. I want to see if they are actually useful for process engineering videos online. Otherwise, I will be simply doing my same strategy, which is going to other Facebook groups and trying to add a little bit of value to you guys. Reddit is something that does not require a strategy at all. It's simply just going there, doing your discussions, your posts, your comments, your questions, and simply being able to reply to you to add some value, but also trying to form a community of chemical engineers in Reddit. And finally, yet not least, and very important, I need to explore a little bit more with LinkedIn, and especially with the short content of videos. I'm pretty sure that this may be a good approach toward these type of uh, platforms. Maybe the short video will be interesting for LinkedIn professionals, I don't know. We need to explore that as well. And guys, that will be it. This is what I wanted to share with you guys. For sure, if you want to go and check out this specifically, you can do it, for instance, on habit goals and processes. I'm no longer working with goals alone. I want to do habits that last and processes or systems that are useful for me. Also, if you want to see the specifics on my business plan, here they are. If you want to see individual courses or if you want to send me an email or contact me for a specific course, let me know. The restructuring of courses. If you are a student, maybe you're wondering if I'm going to be uh, modifying the petroleum refining course, for sure I will be doing it. This will be the way in which I'm going to be doing so. If you want to check out the website changes, my email strategy, or maybe the ebooks that I may be presenting in the future, here they go. Whatever you want to check, this is the blog post. And yes, this is what I want to share with you guys, the 2022 annual review, but more importantly, 2023 goals. I'm pretty sure that we're going to be enjoying this new adventure and let's see how 2023 is going to challenge us. On my behalf, that will be it guys. I'll see you in the next video.